The next one we're going to do is this one. As you can see, it's slightly different. You could use this as a placemat, especially if you laminated it or if you used, it, used um, card. Again, I've just used paper only because I haven't really got card available at home. So what we need for this one then is some, some paper. We'll start off with, or paper or card. I'm going to do red and um, white for this placemat. I'll move this one out of the way so you can see we're concentrating on doing this one. So you literally same material, scissors, sellotape, but I don't think we need the we don't need the sellotape on this one. So I'll get that one out of the way. But we really do need the ruler and, and this and the pencil for this one. So two pieces of paper, two different colours, doesn't matter what. I'm actually using one piece of card and a piece of piece of paper here. And first of all, I'm going to fold one of the colours in half. There we go, like that. And then what I'm going to do is do some measurements. So again, it's inches. So there's the open side there. And I'm going to measure just an inch or 2.5 centimetres along. And I tend to go for the same, about three marks, so you get a more of an accurate line. There's three marks there and then you make a line so you've got an inch or 2.5 centimeters off okay then you make one inch marks or 2.5 centimeter marks along that line all the way along all the way along and I've got one I've done earlier to save time so it should look like that you open up the piece of paper you've done a line along there and you've created three marks so you can keep um, to that line. And what you do is you mark with the ruler along that line. You, you're basically making um, little strips there, but you don't only go as far as there. So this is, you don't want to go past this line here, this, this inch or 2.5 centimeter gap that you've created at the top. You don't want it to go past there. And you just keep going down. Now these are, as I say, inch to 2.5 centimeters along and you keep drawing keep drawing along there um, obviously the more accurate you are the more careful you are the more the strips are exactly the same size and just makes the whole finished piece much more neat but it doesn't matter because it'll still work it's um, a fun weaving art but it's just you can be as accurate or as inaccurate as you want but there we go you create those lines there and literally we don't need this bit at the end because that's not the proper size so we can lop off that bit and then you literally snip or cut up to that line there all the way along each one like that just keep going keep going like that and I've done one earlier Ta -ta. So there you go, that's what you need. I'm going to put that to one side. And now I need my red piece of paper. Um, again, we fold this one in half, like so. And you're going to make strips. So you literally, again, inch or 2.5 centimetres. You make your marks. But this time, you're going to use the whole of the strip. And you literally cut your strips off. So. You make your marks again. I usually put three inch, you know, three marks, so it's a, it's the same. I can get a more accurate length. So I'll just show you one. But you do this right across the piece of paper. And the reason why you're cutting it half is it's just it's just easier. And then you do that all along the line, and then you literally cut the strips off, and you should get seven or eight. You, I think it's seven actually to be fair and then you just cut the strips like that so I've done a, I've done some earlier to save time so I've got one two three um, four five and one two three four five and then we need to bring this piece of paper back six seven that's right so you open up this white piece of paper or card and this is your mat that you weave into I'm going to put it the other side because I don't know it just feels easier 
maybe it's because I'm right-handed and you literally like we did with the last one but we've, we've created this sort of neater placemat if you like so you go over under over under it's so cool I really enjoy it under over under over and it's just and, I, and it was my son's idea to do white and red and it's just it just really stands out it's really cool there you go push it to the top about the even over the side and then you go again that one's over so I need to go under under over um, under over under over under over there we go and push it up push it up like that and there we go and just keep going keep going like that I think it just looks really quite nice with red and white I'm gonna do one more over under because I'm really enjoying it over under over under over and then you can see you get more of a neat one with this one when you do the measurements when you do the slits with the scissors this is much more neater but it just takes a little bit more preparation and might be a bit more difficult for little ones but you can prepare that so um, so you little ones can have a go with this weaving because the weaving is the fun part of this artwork I think so you keep going like that until ta -ta, you get something like this and uh, so I've gone along and done all of the strips there it is like that so what you then do is you glue down like we did with the last one I've, I've gone around and glued all mine to save time think they're all glued all nice and secure and I, I strongly recommend you glue it first before you start cutting otherwise they start coming out of place and you just you cut off these ends to make it nice and neat like that nice and neat on the one side and then do that on the other side and as I say you can do it with card you can do it with paper you can do it with whatever colors you want as long as it's I mean even the same colors like I did with my white one and then there you go and you know if you want to make it waterproof you can laminate it and use that as a placemat so there you go there's the two types I'll push that over there's the more complicated one where you do the measurements and then you've got these which is slightly different as I say I've done a smaller strip on this one you can see it's slightly smaller Oops, come out there um, and you can do whatever colours you like and it's just really good fun doing those weaving I really enjoyed that so there you go those are the different kinds of mats you can do I really hope you enjoy making them